Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination, this said Prince. I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to talk about Selenium MCP server with Claude. So Claude is an AI tool which we are going to utilize for Selenium MCP integration, right? So before we discuss about what is Selenium MCP server, let us discuss about what is MCP. Though I have already covered it as a separate video, if you want to understand at low level, you can check out my video in I icon. Now let us try to understand what is MCP. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. This is an open source protocol that standardizes how applications provide context to LLMs. Let us try to understand it. So by default, if LLMs want to talk to our file system or if it want to, for example, talk to any tool, let us say it want to talk to Confluence, Jira, GitHub, right? To get the details of a particular repository or a particular page on Confluence, right? So LLM does not have that capability. With the help of MCP, it becomes possible, right? So we will try to understand how it works, right? So with the help of MCP, it enables, meaning the MCP enables seamless integration between LLM applications and external data sources and tools. Data sources meaning it could be Confluence, Jira, GitHub, GitLab, right? It could be any, any third party tool, right? Now this is the architecture. So we will have MCP client. So it could be Claude, which is having capability to talk to MCP server. So MCP server is a program which has integration with data source. So for example, there could be a MCP server for Confluence, which can talk to Confluence page. And there could be a MCP server for file system, which can talk to uh, the local file system. There could be MCP server for connecting to database, right? And there could be a MCP server to talk to any website or any tool available over internet, right? Now, how it works is MCP client first of all need to register this particular MCP server or need to establish a connection with this particular MCP server which further has integration with the data source right so this way when MCP client will make a call to MCP server as a result we will be able to fetch the data from this particular local data source right so try to understand like for example we have user story on confluence page so we can read that particular user story and based on that we can generate our gherkin right or our test cases right this is how it works right now as we are going to discuss about selenium with the mcp right that is selenium mcp server so we will try to understand what is the benefit we are going to get so selenium without mcp if we don't have like mcp in the middle so we will have java code python code or c sharp code right and we are going to trigger the driver we are going to initialize the driver and then we are going to talk to browsers right so in the middle we have selenium library and this is how it works right now with the help of selenium mcp what will happen is we will have claude that is llm or any other llm like gemini we can use and we will have selenium mcp server so there would be integration established between this particular mcp client and selenium mcp server and then after within the llm we can write the data write the requirement in natural language processing that is human readable thing like for example i'll be writing open chrome browser right so it would be op able to open the chrome browser right now <coughs> let me go to this particular repository so this is where the mcp selenium server exists angie jones is a lady who developed this particular framework right mcp server right so she has introduced some of the functionality right so if i show you so she has these functionality we can start the browser we can navigate to a url we can find element we can click element right we can send keys meaning input the data we can get the text of our element right we can hover over element we can drag and drop right so these are some of the functionality introduced by mcp server meaning this particular mcp selenium server right so if i'll show you how it it is done right right so i'll show you this is the github repository so somewhere here in src lib you will find server.js and here she defined the functionality so if you will see this is get driver this is get locator this is opting uh, somewhere you will find a browser management tool which browsers uh, we can open right and uh, then like they're, they're like find element find finds an element right then we have click on element so these are the functionality defined here right 
so we just need to integrate this particular selenium server with the cloud right or with any llm or any ai based tool which support mcp right so cloud is one uh, ai tool which supports this particular mcp uh, communication it can talk to mcp selenium server right so now let us discuss about this how we can integrate it with uh, like cloud so if you will see it is supporting only chrome and firefox right so we will be interacting with chrome and firefox we can use goose as well so goose is another ai agent which can interact with any llm and with the help of goose also we can initialize the uh, selenium server but i'm going to cover today's lecture with the uh, cloud right so we will go to this so this is what it is saying that use with other mcp clients so i'm going to use cloud desktop which i have just shot right so i'm first of all going to integrate cloud desktop with this particular mcp server right so which has command and npx and this is the location of selenium mcp server right so i'm simply going to copy it and i'll be going to MC, uh, this particular cloud and here we'll be clicking on file and then settings right here we need to click on developers and we need to click on edit config right as soon as we'll click on edit config it will open the cloud location in our system where it is installed right now i'm going to right click and open it into notepad and here i'm simply going to provide this mcp server so if i'll undo it was providing blank mcp right now after providing it like uh, it would be able to connect to selenium mcp server right so if i'll for example click here right we, we don't see anything so what i will do is i will first exit this right so we will first exit this and we will restart it and then we should be able to see the integration of cloud with selenium mcp so let us wait for save so it takes some time so let me go again and go to settings and go to developer so you see this selenium server is now running right so we sometimes get the um, message here as well that selenium mc server is connected right so if we don't have integration if we will simply write open chrome browser it won't be able to open it right but now we have integrated it so it would be able to open it so i'll say open so if you will see mcp is here now right so now we got this message access integration in this menu right so open chrome browser right so let us see how it will behave so it should be able to open the chrome browser so it is asking the permission i'll always allow right so you see it has opened chrome browser right next thing what i'm going to type in is launch source demo app So it automatically picked up this particular URL, right? And if I'll navigate here, it has opened this particular source demo app, right? Now I will say, please log in to the application. So in the background, it will find the elements as well as it will log in into the application. So you see, it is able to pick the elements right username and then password and then it is entering it and it will perform a login click on login as well right so it is asking so i'll now show you that it would have logged in so you see it has logged in right now what we can do is i'm going to inspect this and i'm going to click on this particular element and i'll say add the following item into the cart so you will observe that it would be able to add the item into the cart so if you will go here we will be seeing that add to cart is now turned into remove that is this particular item is added so if i navigate here this particular item is added right okay then could you please 
close the driver close the browser right so it has closed the chrome browser right could you please perform same operations in firefox browser so let us see whether it could be able to do so so it has launched firefox let me go back here if it is asking for any access right i'll sell i'll go here and it has launched source demo now it will try to enter the credentials so let us see whether it is able to perform so you see it is entering username now it will enter password and then it will click on login and now it would be adding the item into the cart as well and at last it will close the browser as well so let us see so it has added the item into the cart right would you like me to perform an additional option it has not closed the firefox driver close the firefox driver So it has closed the firefox browser now right so what we can ask is could you please convert the above or could you please provide the selenium java code for only above steps So it has started creating the this particular app right this particular code right which we can at the end download and we can utilize it into the test automation framework right so it has converted this right so now you see that how beneficial it is it is right so it has created before test right it has provided chrome and firefox right it has provided maximize option it has then created the test case right and at last after test right so this is how we can take benefit of this particular mcp server to write the test cases in natural language and we can get the script running and we can then convert it into the selenium based code or selenium java or selenium c sharp or selenium python so this is how we can utilize it so this is what i wanted to cover guys as part of current discussion thank you for watching and i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again